I am Isis and I come to speak with you today about you. Yes, so make yourself very comfortable, sit back and just listen and relax. So if you find yourself focused or feeling that narrow vision right now, take a minute while still grounded to consciously let go or push out any boundaries that you may have. You are more than ever you give yourself credit for. You are an amazing creator. You have created in a multitude of different lifetimes upon earth. You have created during time spent in the universe. You are creating every minute of the day as you move through your days. Remember you are divine. Remember that you are glorious and have such infinite potential. I speak to you for a few minutes, speaking these words that are truth, speaking these words that are reality. Feel how good that is. Feel what you feel like in this moment. This is something that you can also do for yourself. Believe in yourself. Open to the potential. Feel what this is to you. I invite each one of you to take one more breath. Allowing yourself to breathe deeply and as you follow that breath it moves down through your lungs, through your heart and into the core essence of who you are. From there have a sense of reaching up or reaching out letting go of your physical body. Allow, if you choose so, your consciousness to shift into the space of the magnetic grid. And if you choose, you have the ability to shift straight into the soul plane or even the all that is. But when you take it step by step as we normally do, it allows you to be fully aware of these various dimensions, these various shifts in consciousness that are here to assist you in your daily life. Within the magnetic grid, immense transformation is taking place. Feel what your space is like within here. You have created a space in which your higher self resides. You also have created alignment with many other people. This is one of the places to which you come to communicate with them. Perceive what that feels like in this moment. You perceive your friends. You perceive those with whom you may not have a name, yet you recognize their vibration. This is another way in which you may recognize the community of souls which make up you, the lightworkers, the enlightened ones. 
you who have the essence of the Brotherhood. There are many different names that you have used through the years and some currently. It is simply the shared vibration of family. Family brings up that essence of people that have something in common. Well, I smile because some of you say, well, your family is not maybe what you choose. <laughs> and indeed, that is sometimes the case. But this is a family of choice, a family that is loving, supportive, and nurturing of you, just as you are of everybody else around here. So in this magnetic grid, be very aware of who you are and that there are so many others with you. The merging of the crystalline and magnetic grid is taking place and it has been for a number of years. For today's experience, I'd like each of you to take an opportunity and shift your consciousness as if looking outward. And this time, let your consciousness open. Take a deep breath in. Whatsoever you need to do, but draw on your own crystalline vibration and invite in the energies of the crystalline grid and feel it as it comes into you and into this space. For some, it may feel even more profound than what you have felt in the past. Others may recognise this is nothing new. This has been going on for quite some time. Part of the difference is that we consciously draw in that crystal vibration. We consciously bring it into ourselves and then it moves. It merges. It moves out from you and it merges with all of the energies and vibrations around you. So move through this building until you shift into the aspect which no longer blended. It's no longer blended with the magnetic grid. You are shifting into the vibration of the crystals that have not yet found an alignment with the Earth's atmosphere. So feel what this is. Feel how easily we move between the two. It's almost as if, with hindsight, you've let go of the magnetic grid. The more these energies of the magnetic grid align with the crystals, the less of the de definite pull is there going to be left. This is a part of the transformation that has been taking place with the ascension of the Earth into the fourth dimension. Many of you have been working with these energies for some time and you feel yourself shifting immediately into that space with which you align. As you are within this space, recognise that it may look very much like the place in which you are living right now. Some of you may find yourself picturing or going to the aspect of the earth that you love so dearly. You find that everything fits within this space very easily, but also there is a finer, lighter, easier vibration. So take a moment and breathe in this expanded awareness. 
then have a sense of looking around at your life. I hear some say it's like looking at your life through rose-coloured glasses. If you so choose, you can look at it that way. You may also choose looking at your life with greater clarity, more clarity than before. This is available to you in your daily life. When you move in and out of dimensions, when you move in and out of expansion, you move into this dimension of all this perspective. It may not look or feel the same to you, but it is where you come. You move into the magnetic grid very easily with your higher self. And then you also move with greater flow and ease into this space. That is much more crystalline and it is a higher vibration of the earth. Some of you say this is where I want to live all my life. It is becoming more and more of reality for each of you. The physical earth upon which you live is the physical earth and this expanded dimension of this expanded perception is something you may integrate into your plan. You are the ones who feel that you're not bringing back this perspective and indeed you may not be. So whether you bring back a greater amount of what this place actually is or the essence you are still integrating a greater shift and a greater perspective of your life. This has been a little bit of a diversion from what we normally do in our process of moving into expansion, but I wanted each of you to consciously see how smooth and easy it is to move from your physical earth into the magnetic into crystalline and into your aspect of the new earth. It is there for you. I invite each of you now to join me in the all that is. As you come into this space, I reach out and embrace your essence. Feel me, feel my mouth as you each arrive. Some of you may be choosing to remain where you were because you were in the process of something. By all means, I invite you to do so. Everyone who has come to join me within this space, I, Isis, invite you to take this moment and perceive how you feel as you opened to my embrace and allowed my energies to move within you. When we usually get together each time, I would embrace you. It would consciously shift you from the soul plane into the all that is. And each one of you expanded in a large way. Tonight, because you have already shared time with yourself within these crystalline dimensions and vibrations, there is less of a noticeable difference between my vibration and your own. It makes me applaud and it makes me giggle. It makes me so happy that you're able to see that for yourself as each one of you are integrating more and more of your own divinity. It allows for me to share an even greater amount of my divinity with you. I thank you for that. Consider your life. Consider choices that you've made. As you consider the word choice or choosing, what comes into your mind? For some, I'm hearing judgment of your choices, regret with the choices you've made. 
for others on hearing they choose to live, they choose life. Still others on hearing they choose to create change in their life, that they want something else. When you think about it, choice is all around you. Choosing to feel the love is something you can do right now. I invite you to choose love within your life. Choosing happiness is something you can have right now. It may not be happiness over every single aspect in your life, but happiness in this moment in this space of all that is, in this creation, choose happiness. Opportunity. I invite you to choose opportunity within your life. Everyone has the potential. Everyone has the opportunity around them. They may realise. So invite in opportunity abundance. What is abundance to you? How does it feel? What would it do in the space of all that is? Infinite abundance is yours. Abundance in health. Abundance in energy. Abundance in money. Not that we need it in this space. But with your link in the earth, I invite each one of you to stretch your consciousness or stretch out your arms. Soak up the abundance that is here. This is not so very far away from you. You remember what you came into the all that is from your expanded state of the crystalline vibration. It is not such a different vibration. So therefore, how about your health? Are you healthy? Are your muscles, your organs, your bones? Is your physical body supporting you? in this endeavour. Embrace opportunity. Embrace the potential that is all around you. Sometimes, as a human, it makes it easier for you to either have a symbol or to create a word or something that assists you in manifesting whatever it is you seek to have. If you so choose, be open to perceive a symbol, a word, a phrase, anything that would indicate to you that this is your reality. In the days and weeks to come, you may find yourself thinking saying out loud, picturing this phrase or this symbol, this word, whatever it may be, each time that you do, you are affirming your belief in yourself. You are affirming that you are recreating what you seek to have within your life. So choose that symbol, word or phrase, and feel the love with joy in this moment. And please, let go of the struggle that you may have. I am in the midst of all of you. I'm feeling as each one of you is creating your life. I reflect back anything that you ask of me. I enhance anything that you ask of me. It is also becoming more and more evident that each of you are truly stepping into your magnificence, into your potentials and into your abilities. 
Yes, you are. So much has occurred upon the earth plane that in some regards is hardly recognisable as the earth. Of course, we still see everything that has taken place. We still see the duality, the wars, the anger, the rage, the fears, the violence, the sickness. Yes, it is still there. It is still a part of the earth. What is so amazingly different is the density that has so hugely transformed. And it is due to each one of you. It is due to everyone so diligently choosing to create a new reality. The thousands and millions of people who are choosing the prayers, they're coming together with their prayers and sending of their healing. It is just so beautiful to see. And these are realities as you all are creating your life upon the earth. Live that reality and let yourself fly. Allow yourself to move. Let yourself simply merge. Whatever it is you seek to have. This is about complete freedom of creativity. This is about unlimited energy and ability. The universe lines up with you. And some of you will begin to see more and more of what might be considered the extraterrestrials, the ships, the beings of light, because there will be a greater ease in communication and transportation. So as you find yourself in this expanded state, is there anything in which you seek to communicate? If so, now is the time. I have a perception that some of you are creating alliances and then through your dream state, through your meditations, through your time of solitude upon the earth, you will create an even greater alignment or experience with whomever or whatever this may be. Your greatest wish, your greatest whatever you wish to share with your guides, please do so in this moment of silence.
invite you now to return back within the group. And some of you, it's as if you come from afar. Others, as if you have remained within the same space. Each time that you allow your consciousness to journey within this space can be a completely different experience for you. If you are forming that bit of a group, creating an opening within the centre for the hologram of the earth to come through, so many of you have perceived it with the current earth. The more that you will see as aspects of this hologram, it too continues to change. Within each of you, one of you, I invite you to tap into all of which you choose for yourself. I invite you to reconnect to that bond, that bridge, that tube that aligns you with the aspect and the dimensions or aspects becoming filled with life. This is but a portion or this is but a perspective. There is so much more than what you see before you. Lady Gaia, as always, comes forth to show her appreciation of you. She reaches out now to embrace each one. She reminds you of her presence and encourages you to incorporate her into your daily life. Allow for this to assist you or bolster your own energies. With that, she'll return within the hologram. From the all that is, you see the hologram as it moves through those various aspects with which you've been working. It moves through crystalline vibrations, the magnetic field, and it merges with the physical earth. It goes within that crystal that is within the centre of the earth, and from there it moves throughout, moving all the way through the magnetic grid and all the way out, and it links with the new earth, creating great, greater connections, greater abilities for each one of you to utilise as you move through your daily earth. Allow your focus to return to the all that is. There's still that separation of vibration and fear, but so much more is being integrated. Every time you align with the physical earth, with the space of all that is, with your own self and everything in between, I invite you to move into the soul plane. We had bypassed this completely before. But find yourself within here. You will find the energies of the soul plane have different dimensions or aspects and those are now integrating within those crystalline vibrations. If you choose to come to this aspect of the soul plane, that's a potential. If you choose to align with your divinity within the crystalline aspect, that is another potential. It need not be completely one or the other. It need only what you choose in any given moment. From here, allow your focus to shift. Feel that essence of the crystalline grief or the crystalline vibration. Feel yourself as you move through that space. As you move through your own divinity, you continue until you find yourself within the magnetic grid. Feel that magnetic pull of the earth. Feel what it is to be you within this space, to be your higher self. And from here, I invite you to create any deeper alliance or any conscious choice that will allow this to assist you in your daily life. Let your energy flow 
unto you, your human soul, you as your biology. As your consciousness returns, you may need to expand the energy field around you. In this moment, as you reconnect fully with who you are, reach outward or upward or however you want to perceive it and link with the magnetic grid. Reach beyond that into your alignment with the crystalline. That alignment is, that is an aspect of the new earth. And allow for the connection to be strengthened. Look around with your mind's eye. You see everything is as you left it. But you also see with new eyes. You see with the eyes of creation and with the vision of unlimited potential that there is more here than you had realized. Recognize that you may always come back into this potential, that you may always expand into this space of contentment and believe in yourself. Let the love flow. Let the abundance flow. Let the potential from now on until affinity flow within and around you. And as you continue to enjoy that space, allow your consciousness to more fully return to your human self. And as you, as you open your eyes, just have a nice big stretch, bring your arms up above your shoulders, and feel how wonderful you feel. And I thank you for being on this journey. Today, I am Isis, at your service always. And I, Rosalie, Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you for being with us on this journey today. I hope you enjoyed it. Namaste.